My name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be testing out the Hip Dot X Spongebob collection. I have the eyeshadow palette, I have the blush and bronzer, I have the highlighter palette, and I have the three lip glosses. I didn't really need all of this, but I wanted it. And then a friend of mine and my mom's was nice enough to gift it to me for my graduation in quarantine. Yay me. So thank you to our friend, and I'm going to try everything out for you. By the way, nothing came broken, which I appreciate. The first thing I'm going to try out is the uh, blush and bronzer. Look how cute that is. I love that you can be sandy cheeks. So I did um, watch some reviews. I heard this was very pigmented and I am very fair, so I'm going to be very careful. This is my Too Faced Mr. Right brush, and I'm going to gently <laughs> go in. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see it, but I can already see the bronzer going in, and I very lightly tapped it. So I'm going to start over here, and let's see what happens. I think I went a little too light. Tap it once more. A little more came off. This is how I usually apply my bronzer. Okay, that's better, I think. Not bad. It's gonna blend out some more. You could definitely go darker than this, but I mean, obviously for me, I'm not going to. At least not on purpose. Uh oh, did something not get set over there? <laughs> yeah, so that's not the bronzer's fault. I must have missed a spot when setting my foundation. What do you guys think? Again, I'm applying it very lightly. So indeed, it can work for fair skin tones. I'm guessing, though, it will not work for deeper skin tones. Looks like maybe it would go up to medium, and then that's it. The blush looks like it could definitely work on anyone, though. Right, just so you can see, let me do a little swatch. So, you decide for yourself whether you think that'll work for you. Next, I'm going to try the blush. Okay, tapped very gently. Oh yeah, you can already see that on me. Just gonna tap once more and put some more back here. This is usually how I do my blush. And even that is maybe a little much. But it's nice, it kind of reminds me of maybe the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Blush and Bronzer in Bronzed Pink Beige, but powder version. Just so you know, these are not chunks of the blush, I just have some redness. And I'll give you a little swatch of that as well. So far so good. I'm gonna go into the highlighter palette next. Oops. Looks like that. And once again, we have the Sandy Cheeks uh, little astronaut-like helmet. So the blush and bronzer sides did not have names. Is that a lie? They do not have names. These have names. And I don't usually talk about, like, packaging and names and stuff. But I was looking through everything. I feel like they could have done better, but maybe they couldn't because of copyrights. But then again, it's Hip.X Spongebob. I, I don't know. But I love that they included a yellow highlighter. It could be seen as gold, but I mean, for gold highlighters I've seen, this is really more on the yellow side. So today that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going in with my Moda Contour Brush BMD 120. That's what it says on it. And I'm going to go into Texas Tough, which is the yellow gold one. Let's see. I guess I'll do this side, see if you could see it better. Can 
you see that? Not really. I'll show you in natural light. So far so good. I'm going to swatch all of these for you guys. So in the nude is like a white with a slight touch of gold. That's pretty. I like that. Then we have Texas Tough, which is the yellow one that I just put on. I like that too. Then we have Glossy Boss, which I don't know what that has to do with the Spongebob franchise, but um, that's like a rosy, I guess like a rose gold tone. Too dark for me, but I'm going to try it as a blush. Well, maybe if I used it really lightly. We'll see. And then Rodeo Star, which is definitely too dark for me. This is, um, I don't want to say brown. It's not brown, but it's, it's beige, I guess. And I think I may try that as a bronzer, just to see. And now, for the eyeshadow palette. I love the colors in here. Um, so far, I mean, I do think they could have put like a blue matte, like a darker blue matte, maybe a, a dark purple matte, teal matte even. I mean, because you're really relying on just yellow, pink, red, and beige for your crease colors. Like, what about the purples and the blues? Like, you're going to wear that with that? I don't know. It's not my personal preference, but who am I to judge, especially with all the crazy combinations I come up with. And once again, some of the names make sense, other ones don't. I don't know. So first I'm going in with my dollar store brush. I'm actually going to go with a red warm look today. But I'm going to start with Coral Floral, which is the matte beige. And that's going to be my setting shade. Now I did put primer on this eye and not the other one, just to see what happens. So first impression so far, uh, this is a little darker than I expected. So it may not be an ideal setting shade for me. For me it's probably better as a transition shade. That's okay. Just put a little more. Next I'm going in with this fluffy brush here and I'm gonna go into Wumbo which is a matte pink. That is perfect and that's going to be my transition shade. Looking good, looking good. I'm just gonna try and blend that out a little more with my clean fluffy brush. Then I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it into Penny Pincher, which is this bright Mr. Krabs red, it really is. So, I'm going to put that in my crease. Does that look a little patchy? Maybe. <laughs> Patchy the pirate. I wonder if this is a pressed pigment or something. Alright, I mean not bad though. I just looked at the back to see if this was a pressed pigment. And it doesn't say anything. But it does say um, Viacom, if I'm saying that correctly. So the copyright should be fine. This color is <laughs> very bright. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Rock Bottom next, which is a, I guess a red, a almost coppery red, like as opposed to a bright red. I'm gonna put that on the outer third. That's nice. Shadows feel smooth and yet a little stiff at the same time. As you can see, I'm not having any issues. Next, I'm going in with Jumpin' Jellyfish, which is like a peachy coral kind of color. Um, I'm not going to call it a duochrome, or should I? It's peach. I feel like there's a little bit of 
gold to it. I don't know. But I'm going to put this on my inner two-thirds of my lid. Just blend the two together a little bit. That's pretty. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my dollar store brush again and go in with Tree Dome, which is very light champagne almost with a little gold to it that's nice I think this is gonna look good on a lot of people even those with a deeper skin tone I think people underestimate that like this color on a deeper skin tone all right this part here is not blending quite right. Could just be me though. And I think I'm just going to mimic what I have on the lid on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with rock bottom on my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it and use that on the outer third. And then jump and jellyfish on the inner two thirds. Some of you are probably very excited that I went with the reds. Others may be wondering, but Jessica, these are your favorite colors to wear. Don't worry, I will do at least two more looks. Now with today's look, I'm going to try the Coral Number no. 5 lip gloss, which originally, wait a minute, Sea Star Gazer. Oh. So the coral number five is this one, which makes sense because of the reference. But when I looked up the reference the other day, it's not coral number five. It's coral, I don't know, two, seven. So again, let's like, I don't get that. I don't know. But I'm going to try this today. It has coconut oil in it, which doesn't always react well with me. But I'm going to try this on my dry lips just to see what it's like. And then I'll probably take it off, honestly. Just because lately I haven't been feeling too well. Just with my usual stomach issues. And I'd rather not irritate it. I would rather save this trial for another day. But I do want to show you what it looks like. It's, um... It looks more pigmented in the camera than it does in real life. It's pretty sheer. Just like a little touch of like a pink peach coral color. Even though this isn't the coral one. Feels pretty good so far. So far so good with everything. Alright guys, today I'm going to start off by seeing if I can use these two here as blush and bronzer. I'm going to start with my Too Faced Mr. Right brush and go into Rodeo Star. Let's tap into that. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. Let's try to tap some off. Okay, there's something there. Alright, what do you guys think? Do I see a sheen? I mean, somewhat. I feel like it's nothing crazy. I wonder if when you apply it this way, do you kind of blend the sheen away? You know what I mean? While I continue doing this, just so you know, yesterday's look on the primed eye wore very well throughout the day. Um, the red shade kind of turned a little more pink rather than red, but other than that, I didn't have a problem. Uh, this side without the primer, however, did not hold up. I'll show you a picture of that. So it just creased and did not look great because of that. Um, so I definitely need to use primer with this palette. But do keep in mind that I have hooded eyes, so if you don't, 
maybe it will work on you without primer. I don't know. I do see a sheen on the forehead, by the way, using the highlighter in this way. So I think this is just, you know, personal preference, as everything in makeup really is. And all of the face products wore well. Um, however, the highlighter, I just feel like it's not as yellow as you think it is. And I'm a little disappointed in that. I kind of liked the yellow highlighter idea. But if you were afraid that it was going to be too yellow, then don't be afraid. Yeah, so down here I can definitely see a sheen. I don't know if you can, but I like that. So next I'm going to try Glossy Boss as a blush. Mmm, that's like very shiny. I don't mind a shimmery blush, but this is kind of too much. And I don't feel like there's a lot of color to it. A little bit. And then today I'm going to try the In The Nude highlighter. Same brush as yesterday, the Moda contour brush. And I would say it comes out more white than anything else it does have a little gold sheen to it um, in the pan and when you swatch it I feel like on the cheeks it's more white. So today I'm going to play around with some of the more me tones uh, like the greens, blues, purples but I'm going to start with this fluffy brush here and go into Coral Floral which is the matte beige and this time it's going to be a transition shade because for me it's too dark as a setting shade. Here we go. Now I'm going to take my IBY crease brush and I want to see if advanced darkness can be used in the crease. Okay, it's picked up some. Okay, it's working. It's not ideal, but it's working. I still think they should have put, like, you know, some true mattes or even satins of other colors. Not just the warm tones. Even though, uh, I have to say, I was on Instagram last night and I saw some very nice looks that people did using the red and pink in the crease and the cooler tones on the lid. And the way they did it, it did look very nice. That actually came out um, pretty black-ish. So makes me wonder a little bit. I wonder what that one would come out like if used in this way. For now though, I'm gonna go into Deep Sea Blue and I don't know if I would call this a blue, it's more like a violet, but it's okay. So pretty. I love that. Um, I'm gonna use that on my pinky on the outer third of my eye. Oh, I love it. So this is very close to the uh, Lime Crime Majestic Lid Light that I tried out previously, except that creased all over and I was so sad. So the color is very spot on, I think, and that makes me happy, so I hope this works. Maybe this would have been a better crease choice, but oh well. Okay, next I'm going to take Blue Lagoon, which looks like a very beautiful blue, and that's going to go on the middle. Ooh. So it's not quite turquoise, but it's not like the baby blue that I typically go for either. That's very pretty. Putting that on the middle and blending it in with the other one. I really like both of those. Then I'm going in with Angry Tentacles. Good old Squidward. Which is a very pretty bright mint. That's going on the inner third of the lid. And again, blending that with the one next to it. Gorgeous. I hope these hold up well. 
because these are perfect. So yeah, let's use a couple of the others on the lower lash line just to get an idea of what they look like. I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. First I'm starting with Advanced Darkness, which is the one I used in my crease. And that's going on the outer third of my lower lash line. Then I'm going in with Meow Meow Meow, which is the light purple. Definitely want to try this on the lid someday, whether it's on or off camera. And that's going in the middle of the lower lash line. And then I'm going in with Bikini Bottom Blue, which is a teal. And that's going on the inner third of the lower lash line. So at the moment it looks pretty similar to what I have going on up there. I think if it was across the lid you would see more of a difference. That's okay. And I'm going to finish off with my dollar store brush in Tree Dome as my brow bone highlight. All right, I am really loving this. I can't say that I have shades exactly like these, despite all of the blues, greens, and purples that I have. And even if I have things that are close, the quality of these is just really nice so far. So I'm going to try the Coral Number no. 5 lip gloss today. Maybe I'll keep it on the whole day, we'll see. It is extremely sheer. Can't say that I'm a big fan of that one. I feel like it makes me look like I'm cold. <laughs> um, it's kind of just like a bluish, whitish tint to the lips. Maybe on top of something else though, it would be more interesting, attractive. Oh, and I didn't even show you guys. I wore my SpongeBob shirt for the occasion. Hero is my middle name from the play. That was a funny play. Alright guys, today is the last look I'm going to be doing on camera, at least for this video. I just want to let you know that yesterday's look, so it did that interesting thing that I've mentioned before where the shimmers kind of just like spread. I'll show you a picture so you could see what I mean. And that's not to say that it didn't look good. I mean, it did. It really looked great all day long. But that did happen, so you couldn't see the mattes as much. Or rather, the one matte and the shimmer I used in the crease. Maybe that's why. Who knows? Today I'm going to start out... I'm going to see if I can use Tree Dome as a highlighter, because I think it would make a nice one. So I'm going to use my Moda Contour Brush yet again. Let me tap into there. See what we get. See that a little bit. As usual, I'll show you in natural light. And then today I have another SpongeBob shirt on, and it would not be a SpongeBob palette without having yellow. So that's the look that I'm going to go for today. I'm going to start with Best Shade Ever, which is the brighter yellow, with this fluffy brush here. Same one I've been using that I still don't know the name for. And no, I have still not washed my regular fluffy brush. So this is going to be my transition shade. I feel like it's not that bright. Maybe with a white base it would be better. Maybe with a different brush. Just to see what happens, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it. Go into the same shade. See if I can put some more on there. Then I'm going to take my IBY crease brush and I'm going to use Imagination. This one here. That's... Almost like a macaroni and cheese color, a more honey yellow, and that's going to go in my crease. So this look is not going to be very um, contrasty today. 
be more monochromatic. Unless I decide to go with a pop of a different color on the lower lash line, which I might. We'll see. Okay, then I'm going to take Golden Pineapple, and that's going all across my lid. You know what, maybe I'll go with Bikini Bottom Blue on the lower lash line, just for fun. This is my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. Maybe I should have used a purple instead. Oh well. I'm just going to clean off the fluffy brush and blend a little bit more over here. And then I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics brush with a 6 on it. What is going on over here? And go into Tree Dome and use that on my inner corners. Try something a little different. Alright guys, the last thing I'm going to do is show you the third lip gloss in Feelin' Fine Apple. Whoa, okay. That's a big difference from the other two. I feel like this is probably not one I would wear on its own. Maybe lightly over um, a different lip product, but that's just personal preference. Okay, it can be sheared out. Alright, I'm giving up on that piece of hair as I do the swatches, so I'm just going to go this way, and I'll give you my thoughts as I do this, starting with Tree Dome. I feel like the shimmers are really awesome, even though um, they did move around. They did not crease, though. Now I'm doing Bikini Bottom Blue, so I appreciate that. And some of these colors, now best shade ever, are ones that I don't have in my collection. And I really love these kinds of shades. Now Wumbo. The mattes I feel like are okay. Like there's nothing wrong with them. Penny Pincher next. But they're not as good as the shimmers. I feel like you have to build them up more maybe. Next, Coral Floral. And I think you saw that, like, some are better than others. Angry Tentacles. And the thing is, I feel like there should have been some other colors. These two are not that different. That's the one I'm going into next, Imagination. Next, Meow Meow Meow. I think it's worth it for me and my purposes. I'll probably use different mattes with these. Jumpin' Jellyfish. But I think it's worth it for the shimmers for my purposes. Rock Bottom. Deep Sea Blue. I love that one. Next, Golden Pineapple. Also, the blush and bronzer I think is nice. The highlighter palette I think is nice. The lip glosses I didn't need. They came with the set that I was interested in. They're not really my style, but Blue Lagoon. That's okay. Thanks to my friend and my mom's friend, Advanced Darkness. I have three very nice products now. There you go. So overall, I'm happy. Thank you, friend. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.